All right, guys, I'm at one of my rentals and uh, they talked about a tub leaking. So I came over, checked it out. Um, yeah, obviously things aren't that clean here, but uh, nonetheless, there is a crack. I'm gonna show it to you. So if I zoom in here, it's a, it's a pretty big crack actually. It's uh, I think it grew a little bit. So it's kind of on the bottom of the tub. So every time they step, it keeps getting bigger. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, fix on this. Uh, basically drill a hole here, drill a hole here, drill one here, and probably here I'm gonna spray it with uh, expanding foam to get that support. Otherwise it's gonna keep cracking. And then I got a, a very simple patch kit. I'm not gonna use fiberglass. I'm just gonna use a, 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 a tried and true uh, super adhesive patch. Went on Amazon and uh, they sell this patch kit. Um, you can kind of see it's for multi-purpose. It is for underwater as well. Uh, comes in this uh, envelope. I think it was $14. So this is what the patch kit looks like. It's, uh, I think it's vinyl with a crazy adhesive on the back. It's super strong. And they come in different colors. Uh, I'm feeling pretty happy that this color match is, is pretty sharp. Uh, this is the size it comes in, and for me, it's going to work perfectly. I don't think I have to cut anything. And Okay, so uh, my renter actually tried to help, and he put some um, Gorilla tape down. And that actually worked for a little while, but I'm looking for a more permanent fit. But I have to remove all this uh, adhesive. So I'm going to use our um, famous Goof Off to get that off. I'm putting it down and uh, let it soak in a bit there. So you might've seen my other videos about uh, removing um, stuff from the bottom of the tub, the uh, non-slip pads, I uh, used Goof Off. Goof Off is excellent for this. So I let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna just use my uh, kind of paint scraper. And quite honestly, this tub is in such rough shape and I'm gonna have a patch over it, I'm just, going right at it. I'm also going to be uh, scuffing the surface to put the pad down anyways, so this may look a little severe, but in, th in this case it's not. But you can see it's coming up pretty good. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is get a Scotch Bright pad and basically scuff this surface. I already did a little bit, but you got to make sure it's completely clean. Then you're going to drill the holes. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is drill the holes. At the end points, nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so I got this great stuff uh, filler, it's up to three inches. Basically, I'm just going to put it into these holes until it overflows. That gives it the rigidity in the back so it doesn't crack like that because that's what happened before. Okay, so I actually drilled another hole here and uh, it took a lot. So it's definitely filled up. And so I think I got that rigidity back. Okay, this is all ready to go. I'm going to peel this off. And when you peel it off, be very careful because sometimes people peel it off too hard and it sticks back to itself. So I'm gonna peel it off and uh, just pretty much get it over more of this end. Peel it off, get it more over this end because this is where the major cracks are. And then now I'm gonna wet it out as they say. Just start from one end, press it out to the other. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. You can try to rub some of this glue off because it's like crazy sticky. The other thing you wanna do is make sure the edges are really pushed down so it gets good engagement. But that's it. That's, of course, it's not a great patch as far as cosmetic, but it's going to hold uh, for at least a year until I can get a new tub. 